Good morning, class and students, staff and families. Today is Tuesday, October 20th, and today is the 46th day of school. Today is National Youth Confidence Day. This day is all about honoring the spirit and potential of kids. This day was started by a mentoring program in New York that works hard to match kids with adults who volunteer to serve as a mentor. A mentor is a person who isn't family, who spends time with a child to help them set goals, learn new skills, and increase their confidence. Do you have a mentor? Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a high of 75. Mr. Garrity was at it again. Let's see what his plan was this time. tomorrow, Mr. Garrity. Remember, perseverance means always working towards your goals. Wait, your goal is to slime me. Maybe you shouldn't persevere. Give up on that goal, Mr. Garrity. Now let's check in with Mr. Butler for Hive B days and together we read Tuesdays with Ms. Brown. Buenos dias, good morning Claxton leaders. We have some birthday wishes to send out today to Elliot A in kindergarten. Happy birthday Elliot and Dallas in fourth grade. Happy birthday Dallas and another fourth grader Casadia S celebrates her birthday today. Happy birthday Elliot, Dallas and Casadia. I hope it is a good one. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, and many more. Good morning, Claxton, and welcome to Together We Read Tuesdays. You know, I have a lot of fun making these morning announcements for you every week. And this week, I decided to kind of keep it simple because I found something this week that I have to share with you. Has it ever happened to you that maybe you turn on the radio and there's a song playing that like is exactly the song that you just needed to hear at that minute, just like speaks to you? That happens to me with poems and with books sometimes. I don't know if that happens to you sometimes. I hope it does. Well, it did this week. Um, I picked up our copy of We, uh, we Rise, We Resist, We Raise Our Voices. This is a collection of poems and illustrations by some of the best children's authors and illustrators around right now. You might remember it from the springtime when I read A Talking To by Jason Reynolds to you, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I should read that to you again because it's so good, but I'm not. I'm going to read you another one. Um, so I picked this up the other day, turned to, I'm not kidding, the first poem. It's called What Shall We Tell You? It's written by Wade Hudson and Floyd Cooper and what should I tell you? Um, friends, I heard it here in my ears, or at least in my good one. Um, I heard it right here in my heart. And I'm going to share it with you now in case this poem is something that you needed to find today too. As I read this to you, I will show you some of the illustrations from other poems in this book to enjoy. But friends, right now, this is What Shall We Tell You by Wade Hudson. What shall we tell you when our world sometimes seems dark and uninviting? 
what shall we tell you when hateful words that wound and bully are thrown like bricks against a wall, shattering into debris? What shall we tell you when respect for others and treating others as we wish to be treated appear as yesterday's borrowed wish? What shall we tell you when our differences are juggled like fragile eggs that could be smashed at a moment's impulse? What shall we tell you? What shall we tell you? We shall tell you that love, like cream in milk, will rise to the top, and hatred and distrust will be revealed as imposters. We shall tell you that peace desirable like a restful night after a long day at play is not far away. Reach for it. We shall tell you that respect for others like a delicious ice cream bar dripping on holding fingers tastes better than contempt. We shall tell you that we love you, all of you. And because we love you, we will be there to help bring light in darkness. We will be there with peace as our weapons and love as a soothing salve to comfort and embrace. We shall tell you that because we will be there for you, always be there for you. It will be all right. It will be all right. Hmm. Friends, I hope that you were able to hear it in your ears really hope you were able to hear it in your heart because we at Claxton will be here for you because we love all of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Here are some jokes. Are you ready? Why are all penguins awkward meeting new people? Because they can't break the ice. <laughs> what kind of shoes does an artist wear? <laughs> Why did the scarecrow win the Nobel Prize? He was outstanding in his field. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you, thank you. Here are some golden tickets. Mr. Garrity would like to give a golden ticket to Mr. Williams and Lyric for working so hard on place value earlier this week. Mr. Casera would like to give a golden ticket to Tristan D for being a shining star at the Eddington Pods always willing to help out and eager to demonstrate his tech skills. That is amazing, Tristan, and I know you have some major tech skills. All right, Claxton leaders, have a terrific Tuesday, and we'll see you tomorrow for the Honeycomb News. Bye. This week for specialists, kindergarten and third grade have art. First and fourth grades have music, and second and fifth grades have drama. This is a full week with Show and Share on Friday. Join a Tuesday Specialist Club this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Kindergarten through second grade, Journal Journeys with Miss Holson. Kindergarten through fifth, Graphic Novel Club with Miss Brown. Third through fifth grade, Tuesday Dance Party with Mr. Butler. Kindergarten through fifth, Tango Tuesday with Coach Hafke. And kindergarten through fifth, Drama Games with Miss Rigsby. We hope to see you there. Now it's time for the Claxon Pledge. At Claxon Elementary, I am a leader. I pledge to live the habits, value the arts, and celebrate our hives diversity. I work hard to learn new things and always give my best effort. I show respect to others and choose to be a leader in my community. I am attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. I am a proud and dependable Claxton Bee, even when no one is watching me. Remember, you and your family can send in jokes and golden tickets and shout outs to our email account and we'll include them in the announcements as soon as we can. We're going to wait a little bit to set our wigs. The email account that you should email these to is clxannouncements at acsgmail.net. You can also submit to the CLX announcements by filling out the Google form on our remote learning website.